Yes, yes, that's true. And today, you were contending for victory and did really well. Tell Thank me about you. that last 200. Um, in the last 200, I was just thinking, move, 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 short strides, short stride, chest up, powerful arms, you know, all the same cues that I say to myself every time I do a hard workout in practice because really, practice, those hard speed workouts, it's the exact preparation for the end of a race. And so I've just been really focusing on that. And I think I'm just, I'm getting older. I'm getting more comfortable with racing on the indoor track. I'm getting more comfortable with championship races. Um, I've like really been working hard on the mental preparation side of things and staying relaxed and having fun. And um, <laughs> I don't know, just it's all coming together. Was that second place off of cross country training and fitness? Yes, now up until the cross country championships, I was really doing 8K stuff. Uh, long tempo runs, K, like directly 8K stuff on the track. And I think that that strength is really helping me. And then the last couple of weeks, we've done just some quick speed stuff just to kind of sharpen up. And uh, it's amazing what, what a couple of weeks of that can do because my first speed workout a couple of weeks ago was the pain train. It hurt so bad, I was locking up, I was so sore, and uh, today I felt really, really good and strong and smooth, and um, so I'm just, <laughs> I'm just so excited. Well done, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Oh, of course I was thinking that I wanted to catch her. You know, we're all competitors, and uh, we, <laughs> we want to beat each other, and we don't let anybody get away with anything on the track, so definitely uh, it's helpful in the US we have a lot of really strong women right now in the mile um, Shannon being one of them and that gives me a lot of excitement going into the race because I know that it's gonna be a good competition and that gets me excited um, and so it's great having women like her out there on the track so I can try and chase them down and get the best out of myself so Did that early smoke days play into the um, well I don't know I I think I was partially prepared for that. I could have seen the race going either way. You know, last year it was a fast race from the gun. This year we were a little bit slower and it was a kick. And so right away you can tell what kind of race it's going to be. So you just, okay, I was prepared for this. Relax, relax, conserve energy. Pay attention, of course, to what's going on right in front of you. And today there wasn't a super large field, so that helps a little bit because we're on an indoor track and it's tight in here. Um, and so having a, a little bit of a smaller field definitely helps in a tactical race like that. So, um, I'm going to go back and revisit base training just a little bit. And then I'm gonna start gearing up for track season. I probably wanna come out strong with an early 5K. Um, and then maybe open up a 1500 at Oxy yeah. and go from there. So have you thought what event you might be focusing on? Uh, I'm kind of just leaving it up in the air. I mean, the training is similar enough that I don't really need to get super specific until the time when it gets closer to USA's. So I uh, can see I'm, I'm really growing in my love of the 5K. And of course, I love the mile. Uh, so we'll just kind of see how it happens and let it happen organically. All right. Thank you.